Well, well, thank you, Eric. Now, an evening of community, art, music, and food, plus a whole lot more. The night market and film screening features an abundance of artists to check out. Now, here to share more on this this morning is Duana Tubles. Good morning, Duana. Good morning. Now, Saturday, we've just saw, we just saw from Eric that it's going to be quite the warm week next week, which is perfect for your guys' evening summer market. Yes. Um, what's going on on Saturday? Uh, it's our first night market. Uh, we normally have markets in the spring and winter, and we decided to do a summer market this year, a night market. Yes. Which we don't see much of in this area, although they are uh, quite popular elsewhere in the country. We haven't seen one here, so we decided to go ahead and jump on that. Yeah. And Bring it here to Rapid City, and exactly. evening is the perfect time to kind of let the temperatures cool off a little bit. Maybe you won't get as sunburnt <laughs> right. as well. Um, so we've got music, art. Um, I know that there will be some artists there selling their work Correct. as well. How many will we have? Uh, it, about 20. We okay. had initially capped it at 15, you know, just to keep it small. It was our first summer market, but the response was overwhelming. So <laughs> we squeezed in as many as we could. Awesome. So we'll have quite a few. We'll have artists like Jim Yellowhawk. Okay. Uh, Dustin Twist, uh, Molina Parker. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have quite a few in there. What kind of, I guess, goods do they share or sell? We'll have uh, paintings, textile art. Dirty Rotten Crafters has some wonderful crocheted art. It's awesome. Beautiful. You know, and I feel like we almost forgot this will be at Racing Magpie. Yes. We skipped right over where it'll be. <laughs> um, so it'll be on Saturday, July 22nd, starting at 3, correct? Correct. Until 10 p.m. So you get to, if you want to come later even, and wait out for the heat to really cool down at Racing yeah. Magpie. Now there will be a film as well. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that film? Uh, it's Zitkala Shah Opera. Okay. It's a documentary uh, on Zit Zitkala Shah. She is a boarding school survivor. So uh, we'll be screening that there. Uh, that'll be one of the last events of the evening. So we'll have it nice and yeah. you know a little darker where you can see the screen better. Uh, it'll be a little, um, might be a little overwhelming due to the boarding school mm -hmm. content. Uh, there's a nice area where, you know, you can walk, yeah. cool down, you yeah, know. Definitely. So I guess, Duana, why is it so important to have something like this for these Native American artists? We're community. Yes. We need community activities where everyone can participate. Uh, by participation, we'll also have uh, art that you can make there. We'll have patient oh, really? press doing silk screening. So if you want to bring a shirt or okay. a bag or anything like that, you can do that and get a silk screen there. Yeah. But yeah, bringing people together, you know, an enjoyable activity, it's, I just think it's, you know, it can't be bad. Yes, I know that going to the markets in the spring and summer are always a great time when I have attended those. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Duana. Can't wait to see how this weekend turns out. We'll see you right after.